audience question. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Williams Bushy. Welcome to Ask Elizabeth a Science Question. Today, we have questions from India and Australia about how do you make a magnet stronger? And I'm really glad that you guys asked this question is questions like that are how amazing discoveries get made in science. You've heard of Albert Einstein. He just asked a simple question and he came up with his theory of special relativity. And he came up with it, he was almost a kid when he did it. So I, I think it's so awesome that you guys are asking me questions like this. And I think it's even more awesome that you're sending me to really hit the books so that I can answer them for you. To answer that question, I actually have to tell you a little bit more than you probably want to know, but you're going to be really interested in it. And I hope that everybody who's watching will be sparked because I know that one of you out there is going to revolutionize the world, if not all of you, because you really can do it. Today, I decided not to put on a lab coat because it's, you know, the lab coat's fun, but I just want you to know, I got it at the Salvation Army. It cost about a dollar. And you can go get one too. And if it makes you feel good to wear one, wear one. But you don't have to have a lab coat to be a scientist. All you have to have is a question. And all you have to do is want to explore and know more about your world. And that makes you a scientist. And if you complete an experiment, like we said, all you have to do is just have your teacher or have your grown up send it to us and we will send you a badge and you'll be part of the Inkelstail science team. So I'm really hoping the next part isn't boring. I think it's pretty interesting, but you kind of have to know it if you want to understand magnets. I tried to put cartoons in, if that helps. This is the Wizard Nebula from NASA.gov. The universe we live in, from the largest celestial object to the tiniest atom, is governed by four fundamental forces. The strong force, the weak force, gravity, which you've probably felt, and electromagnetism. When we talk about the strong force, we're usually talking about teeny tiny atomic particles. But it is a pretty strong force. It's about a hundred times stronger than electromagnetism. The weak force is also teeny tiny atomic particles, but it's not quite so weak. It starts the nuclear fusion that powers the sun. Okay, showing the Earth dropping into the space-time continuum to illustrate gravity probably isn't the most accurate way to do it. I thought it was pretty funny. Gravity is one of the forces that we're all pretty familiar with, all of us pretty much having fallen down or dropped something in our lives. It's hard to imagine not knowing about gravity, but in 1690, Isaac Newton nailed it down. We don't know for sure if an apple really did fall on his head, but we're pretty glad it did because he really wasn't actually a very nice guy although he was very smart. He invented calculus too, which someday you'll be sorry he did. Ta-da, which brings us finally to electromagnetism. For a long time, everybody thought electricity, yeah, and magnetism, yeah, until finally somebody named James Clerk Maxwell put the two of them together and said, you know what, duh, these things are actually the same thing. On, off, south pole. Yes, it was this incredibly handsome, whiskered dude, James Maxwell, who wrote the treatise on electricity and magnetism, who finally put the two together. Electricity and magnets are the same force. And I'm going to show you why in a second. These magnets are cool because they're marked with poles. Magnets have poles. In fact, the Earth is a great big magnet. There's a North Pole and a South Pole, just like every other magnet. The North Poles are marked in red, and the South Poles are silver. Electricity and magnetism are the same thing. North Pole, South Pole, on, off, just like this light. Switch off. 
Now, the question is, can you make a magnet stronger? Here's just a regular garden variety magnet, although it is kind of cool looking. This is what's called a permanent magnet. A permanent magnet is made, it's just as strong as it's ever going to be. So, whatever it can pick up, it can pick up. You cannot make a permanent magnet any stronger than it is, okay? So it can pick up this nail, it can pick up this nail, and I can keep going until it just can't pick up any more, and then I can't make it any stronger. I make a bigger magnet that can pick up more stuff, but I can't make this particular magnet any stronger than it is. What I can do, I can do this, because I'm a grown-up. You can't do this at home. At least you can't do this without a grown-up. Promise me, you're not going to do this at home. In fact, I'm not even going to tell you exactly how I did it so that you can't do this at home. But it is kind of cool. You can make a temporary magnet using electricity with a battery, okay? copper wire, and a battery, and a nail. Wrap the copper wire around the nail and attach it to the pole of the battery because batteries have poles. You ever notice if you put your battery in your toy and you put it in the wrong way? doesn't work. Electricity. Poles. Same thing. Starting to get it? Right? So I can take this same nail that this magnet picked up. Okay, so I can make sure. And now that I've charged this nail, it wasn't magnetized before. And I can use it. If I did it right, pick up this nail. If I did it right kind of following it. It's very weak because the battery is weak. So it's pulling it off. Yep, there we go. And it's not making it go anywhere. Yep, see? Picked it up. See that? But as soon as you disconnect the battery, you can actually demagnetize it pretty easily. You can knock the magnetism out right out of it. It's not going to pick that up. Paper clips. Doesn't work. But if I had a bigger battery, this would be a more powerful magnet. So I can make a temporary magnet more powerful by adding more electricity to it because electricity and magnetism are the same. That's why they call it electromagnetism. Are you starting to get how come I had to tell you about the four forces and why electromagnetism, electromagnetism is the same? So. That particular escalator, you learned a lot. All of his experiments in your head. So don't need lab coat. Don't need a you know Dexter's laboratory. All you need is you. Uncle Stale believes in you. You can do anything. You really can. Just don't ever give up. Keep trying. Follow your dreams. You can do anything. We believe in you. So thank you for asking that question. Coming up. Caitlin in North Carolina, we are going to tell you how muscles contract. That's a really good question, and I can't wait to answer that. So that's coming up next. Looking forward to talking to you, Caitlin. Thanks for asking, and thanks for visiting us on Ask Elizabeth a Science Question. Love to hear your answers, and don't forget, have your grown-ups your grown -ups send us a way cool science experiment. Actually, it doesn't even have to be way cool. Just a question that you answered or an experiment that you tried. And remember, there is no failure. Doesn't matter if your experiment didn't turn out great. You learned something. And we'll send you a way cool badge, and you can join the Inkless Tales science team. Address is on the website, inklestales.com. Join us. Join us. Join us. Okay? Love you. Have a great one. Thanks. Thanks for watching.